Hey people, welcome to uh, the second episode of Trey can say whatever the hell she want to say. It's been about two weeks since I um, posted last. Man, it's been a lot of stuff going on. Y'all, I had to write some stuff down because um, I just can't keep up. You know, my mind, I'm tired, hell. So y'all bear with me. I got to get some things out. First, though, I know y'all like, why the chick always sitting in her car? Look, I be trying to do this stuff at home, and then by the time I get home, I forget, you know, cook, eat, have some wine, put the chair in the bed. Hell, I just, I be forgetting. So, I just took me a break, and I said, you know what, let me go ahead and do this, because I got to let the people know some things. All right, so, in the last two weeks, um, because I'm in the state of Florida, we uh, had Hurricane Matthew. Um, we've had two debates. Saturday, uh, Saturday Night Live has been like crazy funny. Um, let me see what else. Oh, we got uh, people on, on caught on tape grabbing the pussy and all that stuff like that. It's been off the chain. But uh, I'm going to stop there for, for, for a second. And... Um, I want to touch on that though the whole grabbing you know the the stuff I, I hate to say the p word but i wanted just to put it out there how he put it out there you know i don't know about y'all but me ain't nobody gonna be grabbing nothing i just don't think that's pleasurable at all to be grabbing that is just how, you see how i said grabbing that just seemed a little harsh you know, you don't grab the kitty cat or the cookie, whatever you we call it. You don't grab it. It's your friend. You know, it meant so women, if y'all got men out there that's actually grabbing it and they think that's okay, you let them know that shit ain't okay, okay, at all. Uh let me see what else I wrote down, because I gotta check. Let's see. Um uh, I done told y'all about grabbing and all that. Oh, because that shit is painful if you're grabbing it. But, okay, we, we moving on. We moving on. Um, let's get back to the turn of events. Um, I want to talk about basketball-wise. You know, I don't watch this show. But I've seen so much hype on this, you know, infamous fight and Tammy and um, the young lady, Buffy. I think uh, Duffy. Duffy. I'm sorry. Sorry. You know. Um, but I was like, you know what? Let me see what's going on. Let me see what it's all about. You know. Oh, what? Right. Y'all, I swear I got on lip gloss, but the lip gloss that I put on got my lips looking ashy in a mug. Like I got the white lip, a, my, a white mouth. Y'all, I swear on my great looks, I got lip gloss on. I don't know what the hell. I should have picked another one before. Do I got some in the car in this mug? I don't. I don't think so. Okay, let me finish. Anyway, um. I want to touch on basketball wise. So I actually watched like the last three episodes. Cause again, it's not my show. I stopped watching that a long time ago. But I just wanted to see what was all the hype about. Um, first off, uh, what was Jackie crazy? Jackie, Jackie, you let this bitch tell you that if she get in an altercation, she gonna whoop your ass. Uh, bitch, you tried it. You a grown ass woman. If you get into an altercation wherever you are, uh, that's on you. If you can't be grown enough to uh, hold your thoughts and not get into it with somebody still, you you came on my trip. You know what I'm saying? And, and so you gonna fault me for it? And now you talking about you got the audacity to threaten me that you gonna whoop my ass? Please, please. You tried it. Anyway, uh... Yeah, that that just hit a nerve. I was like, Jackie, and, and then, Jackie, why you stood for that? She punched your ass. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it went like, you know, uh, Jackie actually put them in a ring and said, okay, you two bitches, go fight. Go at it. It didn't happen like that. She wanted everybody to come to wherever they are. I can't remember. Overseas somewhere. And have a good time. You know how Jackie flip-flop and go back and forth. But anyway... That was just crazy. And the young lady, Brandy, look, I don't know them, but I do know because on that scene when Tammy was fighting and the girl Brandy had to get up kind of between her friend Buffy and her cousin or something like that, 
Brandy, whoever is your trainer, pay them bitches a little bit extra because your body is banging. I give you all props. Ladies, ladies, we need to start doing that. You know, it's nothing wrong with acknowledging that a woman got her stuff stat. She she look good. She banging. Give women the props. So, Brandy, kudos to you. Whatever you eat in, working out, all that stuff like that, kudos. You look real good. I'm giving you the props. Um, I'm going to switch it on to Ratchet Mondays. Love and Hip Hop. Uh, what is that? Hollywood. I really don't have too much to say about it because it is what it is. Um, t -t -t a tisk, tisk, tisk. Monies, Monies, Monies. Y'all, I love me some Monies. I also love how Monies seems like she don't have no fear for these chicks out in the street. Chicks be coming for Monies and she's standing there like, <laughs> I'm waiting. I love it. It might be ignorant, but I love Monies. Um, real talk though, if a woman or a man did not consent and know that they're on some kind of sex tape, that's file um people have families out there and you know i'm because it seemed like from her reaction she didn't know that was going on and i mean hey i i went in there she could be acting hell you know this is mona scott thing i i don't know but if she really 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 didn't know that somebody taped her not cool and not cool to somebody else to use that against her i get i get it y'all that like, well that's what she get because money's got a big mouth but Moni's back her shit up. I mean, when I say back her shit up, she willing to take the heat or whatever. But I just don't agree to the whole leaking out the set tape thing. She a mother, you know, the baby. You, you know, y'all, I, I, I don't agree. But, you know, that's just me. Uh, I just don't think Lil B and, and Princess, um, I don't know. And you know what? Speaking of Lil B and Princess, y'all be calling her whole niece. But what make her such a hoe? Okay, I know she's told y'all that she banged Ray J, but why? Y'all y'all calling her whole niece. I mean, I don't know. It just, I don't know. And if she on the set tape and she didn't know nothing about it, she ain't no hoe for real. But again, I don't know these bitches. They out in LA. I'm just saying. All right, uh, let's go. What else I got to talk about? Oh, Black Ink on Ratchet Mondays. I love Black Ink. Um, this is Chicago. I'm new to it, so I don't know everyone's name. I do like Kat and the owner of the show, Ryan. And I think they be doing some, I mean, like the artwork that I've seen so far. And y'all, oh, well, y'all might not know. I love tattoos. I love tattoos and all that stuff like that. So I just be looking at the work and the quality of the work. And it's hot. Um, as far as the beef and the stuff that's going on and the extra babies and stuff like that, um, I really don't have that much to say on it because the show is new to me. But, I mean, the only advice that I can give, old boy who just found out that he has um, another child, and I want to say this is his second child outside of his relationship, uh, boo-boo, you need to use condoms stop going in these chits raw and then you picking these ratchet assholes going in them raw making babies that's to the world to the men of the world stop that stop use condoms safe sex but it, but stop going into these chits raw and they ratchet as hell that boy that's a lifetime of drama baby mama drama and uh -uh. y'all couldn't pay me uh -uh. And to the fiance on the rail, my heart goes out to you. Whether you marry, fiance, boyfriend, whatever. For you to love somebody and they uh, get a baby on you, that's some hurt. So uh, I'm sorry. And, you know, I hope you deal with that. You know, ain't like she gonna probably see this anyway. Cause I don't know the chick, but I'm just saying, I'm putting it out there. But to see her cry like that, it was kind of hurtful. I was like, dang, you know, ugh. But. Oh boy, if y'all stay together, give her her second baby, and you need to go ahead and get snipped and and be careful. Anywho, next story. Let me see what I gotta say. Let me see. I'm saying. Oh, I want to talk to y'all about some new shows that's on TV. Y'all, I am here for the Lethal Weapon uh, series that comes on Fox. 
first off, I am a huge Lethal Weapon fan. I love the movies. All four installment, Mel Gibson, Danny Glover, uh, Joe Pesci, and then in the last installment, you have um, Chris Rock. Uh, I just, I mean, the whole thing. I.